So sometimes you've worked really hard on a scene and you don't want to save the whole project. You might want to use just one scene or you've saved an animated logo or if you've saved something that you want to use again and be able to find really quickly. Not necessarily this video, but I just made this really quick to show a couple ways to just keep your workflow going and just save yourself some time. Um, one of them is a lot of times when you're uploading transparent video files like MOVs or WebMs, they can take a while to upload, even green screen. So once you've uploaded it, if I know I want to use these characters again, so easy to save it to my global. Right now I'm in my project folder. Everything that's in my project is here. I can save it to my global. And when I save it there, these are the kisses I always use for um, Bella when she's a princess. So I have those saved in my global folder. So all you do is, oop, I want to be in my project, is I would right click, copy to global. There you go. And there it is, right there. When I leave this project, it will still remain in my global folder. I can do that with all of these different characters. And then I can have them in here. And I think I already have these guys in here anyways. So I'm going to delete that. Before I do that, you also can click and drag and put it into a file, into a folder that you have. That's not a frame. So I want a new folder. Click new folder. It's going to be at the bottom. I can rename it Dancing Egg. And then I can click and drag it. Now, if I want to just add to my global folder first, because I know I'm going to want it, let me get um, my Angry Egg. I can import this to my global folder. And then it will come right up oh, there it is right now it's loading in there. And then once that finishes I can click and drag it and put it into my project. So that's one way that you can save it, organize it, and you can import it from this button too. I tend to use click and drag. So now I can just put him I'm not scrolling too good with his friend and there he is. So that's one way that you can save it. And then for instance, this is where I had shown from another one, I can just click and drag a dog in there because I saved that in a Lottie file folder in my global folder. And remember, and I'll link to it in the description, you can use the migration tool to make sure that you're syncing I'm on my laptop, and if I want these to also be on my desktop, I can use the migration tool to export and import all of my global folders, all of my fonts, all of my preferences. And what I'm going to show you next is your My Scenes. So if you click here to My Scenes, well, to Scenes, you have the scenes that are from Create Studio. And then you have scenes that you can keep yourself. Now I keep a lot of things. This was from a, I can get rid of this now, but this was a Christmas video I made and I wanted to use the same formatting, but I was working in groups. So I saved it in my scenes and then I was able to import it. This was from a flipping video, etc. How do you do that? You can't just click and save as a scene. That's not possible. Even if it's one thing I want to save, which if it was one thing, I would save it to my global folder. But if it's just one thing, first you need to group it. Then you can right click and save to my scenes. And there he is. And then if I want him, when you leave this project, if you want him again, he'll be in there and you can just click and drag him over to your canvas. However, that would be more of a global scene, in my opinion. Say I want to keep 
the way that I formatted the text. I can select all three of those. Whoop. Group. I, it's because I have animations there that it's. I can group it. I can put this, I can rename it as dance text if I want. Then I can right click it, save it to my scenes, and I can use it anytime that I want. If I wanted to do the whole scene, if I wanted everything in this scene, here's that trick to go up like that, I can select everything, group it, right click, save to my scenes, and there it is. And then if I want to use that in another project, I can just click and drag it and the whole thing will still be there. And then of course you can edit to however you want. So those are two quick ways to just speed up your workflow, save the hard work that you've done, and you don't have to hunt it down in whatever project folder or project file that you originally did it in. Have fun.